Sweetwater Stitcher and today is Thursday, February 2nd. Welcome back to my returning subscribers and I want to say a warm welcome to those of you who are joining me for the first time or maybe the last video you found me and this is your second visit. Thank you for coming back to everyone and stopping by to see what I've been working on this week. I have like always, lots of things on the table to share with you today. And again, I'm just so thankful for you stopping by. So I just wanna go ahead and get right into all of the goodness. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about today was um, so a couple of previous finishes. And the first one is, I believe this is called Be My Valentine. And as we have gotten into now, we're into February. Um, at the beginning of my video, you will have seen some of my Valentine's decorations. So that's, I brought a few of the pieces upstairs to share. This, like I said, I think this is called Be My Valentine. This is by um, the Stitching with the Housewives. I did stitch it with all the called for colors on chalkboard black 14 count. And this I think is one of my favorite um, Valentine stitches that I did. I love the roses all around. And then this is a backer from, I believe it's from Walmart. And it was a, it had a rope at the top and it's like a chalkboard sign, um, but you could use any type of sign as the backer. So I love this and it wasn't really, it's not that big, um, it's just a lot of filling in. So it's, you could get that done. Um, and I'll link that chart below. You can find that in their Etsy shop or on Fat Quarter Shop as a PDF. And then these are, and I don't think I have the pattern up here. These are from Brenda Gervais Love Notes. Um, she has a, it's, like the, her booklets that she has now with multiple patterns, but it's just um, on copy paper. And this is the first one I did. And this says, Be Mine. And I changed this. There was a bird and there were some other things around it, but I just stitched the words, Be Mine. And this is, I'm pretty sure the color is barley. It is 25 Count Lugana by Lori Holt. And I'm not sure the red, it's definitely variegated. It's probably, it's one of the classic color works, but I did this last year and I was not writing that down. Um, and it's backed with some um, fabric from, I believe this is from Joann's. And I attached Rick Rack with glue. And you will see on my next one, that the glue and it's hot glue and this one it's staying okay i probably will still stitch it but on this one and these were in an air conditioned box the rickrack has come off so i feel like for myself this this was when i first started attaching trim and i was not i did not know how to stitch it on and since this time last year I did these, I have learned how to stitch the Rick Rack on. So that's what I do now. But I feel like this is a pro or this is a reason why you stitch it on and not glue it on. If I used Eileen's tacky glue, that might have worked, but I'm not sure. So, but this is um, another one. This is the X's and O's and this is on the barley and I do have the white X's and O's um, it's a little bit hard to see, but I had already started stitching the top. And when I got to the the o, the the white, it was hard to see, but I just left it. Um, and same backing fabric. And the other one that's in that series, and I still, I have another one I want to work on from this series. But the other one was I did this. This one was on the tan fabric Originally, I stitched it on red. This is 14 count Ada. And they're supposed to be, one of these hearts is supposed, they're all supposed to be red and one is white or all are white and one is red or something like that on the pattern. But I just did them all the same color since I was stitching it on the red fabric. And this, and I just glued the little 
a bow at the top. This rickrack seems to be staying on, okay? So I'll probably leave this pillow alone. Um, but the other two, I will go ahead and stitch down the rickrack um, just to help that. But I wanted to point that out. I just assumed it would be fine and it's has started peeling off. So it does, it's not gonna mess up my pillow um, in any way. So I'll just stitch it down. And then this, I got a lot of questions about, cause I posted these as a picture last year and I had a lot of people ask me about this pillow. I did not make this and it has a little hanger. I'm pretty sure it's from the Target dollar spot. It's really old, but you could easily do this with some felt or fabric. So they stitched the two pieces together or China, wherever it came from, I'm not sure. Um, I just bought it at a big box store. Um, it's two pieces together. And then these are cut out hearts and they just have one stitch down the middle. So you could do that with some wool, you could add some trim, um, but I put this pillow in with my other pillows as part of the display, just to have something different and additional in my um, bowl that I have it in. And I like to do that with all the other things as well, is put a couple pillows, some are stitched, I might sew a pillow with just fabric, um, just to give it a little bit of dimension and some different, instead of, just all stitching pieces, which that also looks great, but um, I don't have as many. And so that's like kind of a filler to put in the bowls. Okay, so that's my previous finishes. Now let me, um, I wanna talk about some sows that are going on um, and that I am participating in. And the first one is the um, Mad for Plaid Sal, and this is being hosted by Chantel at 141 Design Company. And the hashtag is 141 Mad for Plaid Sal. And it started on Sunday. And this is the schedule, but really the schedule is just an outline if you wanna follow it. I honestly, we're starting with the spring one, you probably could stitch it in one day um, and I might do that just to do my stitching and I want to finish it on the piece. I want to participate, but I don't know if I want to just keep it lingering on. Um, so, and the hashtag for Sal's, and this is the pattern by Hands On Design, the hashtags that are created for these different sows, they're always going to be a hashtag. So if you don't have your pattern yet or you want to join in later, um, you can always do that at a later date and use the hashtag. You can go back and see what other people are doing. Um, so I am going to stitch mine on 30. This is 30 Count Twilight by Weeks Dye Works, which is like a dark blue. And I am using the Cosmo threads and I put them on a, oopsies, on a floss style from Chantel at 141. And then I also have the backer, which is on the edge backer from Chantel to put it on. And in the backer, it gives you all the instructions on how to put it together. Um, so all of this will be in one place so I can do my stitching and then finish the piece. And this stitch along is going, like we're doing one row at a time. Um, and then the finishing will be during the week of February 26th to March 4th. So right before market. And then at market, like Kathy and Chantel have also said, is she will be real, she'll be releasing a few more of the pieces that are more seasonal to, or more holiday specific. Um, if you go over and watch the hands-on design uh, floss tube where she introduces this, she tells you what the a couple of the upcoming ones are. Um, and so then those will be released to also stitch with this. Um, and in addition, this backer can be used for other things too. It doesn't have to be used just for the Mad for Plaid Sal. For example, Nicole Spore is using this backer to put her um, Friesen Season 
um, series from Annie B's that is a club through Crazy Annie's. She's going to put it on this. You could use this for other things as well, um, other small pieces. So just because it's used for one thing does not mean that you have to use it. Um, also, the backer, I got mine from Chantel, but you can purchase it from your local LNS. They have had the ability to buy them. Also, um, in Chantel's webs or her Etsy shop, you can buy them. So check out your LNS first if they have them, and if not, then head over there. But that's one sow. Another sow that is starting in February. So that one already started. Then this one already started as well. And this is through Fat Quarter Shop. And it is their Love Note Stitch Along. And this is a free pattern on the Fat Quarter Shop website. And the hashtag is hashtag FQS Love Note. And I did start mine. And I just started with outlining. And so, so far I have the heart at the top and then the envelope outlined. And I am using, Classic Color Works, Blushing Beauty for the pink, Ladybug for the red, and um, white or Blanc for the white, DMC. And this is on, I believe this is 32 count flax. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to finish it. Maybe a pillow, but then also I might use one of the pieces if it fits from Chantel's mystery box. I have to figure that out. Um, or I might find some a different piece, but I have not decided that yet. So I, but I need to get it stitched first. But that's through the whole month of February. Also, Kimberly, um, oh, what is her February's? Um, Be mine stitch along. So she's stitching all different Valentine stitches in the month of February. And I know they were not able to record floss tube yesterday, Wednesday, but they will have one this upcoming week. And she is sharing things on her Instagram, FQS X stitch um, of her progress so far. So go check that out. This is another stitch along and this is with um, Nicole Spohr and it's a little bit hard to see, but it's the pattern is More Chocolate Bunnies by uh, Hands On Design. And this is an older pattern from 2019. You can purchase this as a paper pattern. You can also purchase it as a PDF from Kathy's website, which I um, purchased, but I will link this pattern below. I am using the DMC. They also have a Sulky pack, Sulky 12 weight you can use. And this stitch along is hosted by Nicole Spohr and it starts the week of February 13th. And it goes week one, February 13th, the 20th, the 27th, the 26th, and the week five, which is March 13th, is a finishing video. And then it, she just has also on here that Easter is on um, April 9th. So this will be done before Easter if you want to put it out. Um, so this is the paper. It's a little bit hard to see, but I'll post... Um, I think I can post a link to this part so you can see it um, if you're interested in joining. And I am still on the fence on the fabric I'm going to use, uh, but I need to figure that out because I do want to get, uh, well, I guess the 13th is next week or two weeks. So I want to get that started. And the last stitch along, this is not starting until March 1st, but I just wanted to mention it because I will be doing it. Uh, this is Hive Rules by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And this stitch along was thought up by, uh, when we were at the All Things Winter Retreat with Annabella's. And Denise Waters, she thought of this uh, with her table mates to do this as a stitch along. And they told everybody else about it and a lot of other people are doing it. And it's also 
now being put out to everyone. Um, the hashtag is hashtag PCS Hive Rules Sal. There is a Facebook group you can join as well. Um, and I am going to be stitching mine on 36 count vintage smoky white. And I am using the Victoria Clayton Silk. And I have already taken some out to do with something else. But this is the what the silks look like. So I will be doing mine in that. And this is my beautiful B case that was from Chris Sherman at Winding Rainbows. So I have all my stuff in my case all ready to go. And like I was showing last week, I have my tag with the pattern and then I have my hashtag on the tag so I remember what it is and it goes in my basket that has my sals. So I have a basket that has all of the sals, which are stands for stitch along um, in it. And I have the hashtag on the, ta on the little paper tag I put. So I am starting the sals when they start. Some of them I'll keep up with. Some of them I'll just keep in the basket. And when I want a different project, I will go in there and pick it up. There's also a stitch along going on for Carrie Tiger Lily Designs for her birthday. I have that all kitted. Um, her birthday was on the 31st and I did not end up stitching on it because I wanted to work on something else, but I have it all together and I will start it soon. And then I'll pick that up when I feel like it. Um, the Martha Evans pattern from Brenda's birthday, Sal, that's in that basket. So when I feel like picking that up, I can pick it up. Um, but I figured it would be easier to keep all of that together. And then, like I said, I'll stitch on it when I feel like it. Uh, but I have the hashtag on my paper tag. So when I go to post a picture on Instagram, I know what the hashtag is and I'm not looking all over Instagram to figure out what it is. It's all in one place. Okay, I have for this week one freebie. And this is from From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy, and I'll put the link below. I don't have a cover sheet, but this is what it looks like. It's called Love Mini Quaker, and I've seen this. A few people have stitched it. She has it in a couple different colors, pinks. You could choose all one color. You could choose a variety of colors, um, just depending on what you want to do for that. Before I get to my whips this week, I have one finish, and this was the Arrow Celebration Small by Hello from Liz Matthews that I started a week or so ago. I did dye this fabric myself to look similar to hers in the picture, which then it was funny because when I got the Fox and Rabbit monthly club, it was pretty much that was the color I needed, and my color's a little bit darker, but I stitched this on um, 32 count linen that I dyed, like I said, and I used Brother in Blue. And this is my finished stitched piece. And I do plan to finish it in a pillow similar to the one that Liz did on the cover. I'm trying to decide where it's going to go as to how I'm going to do it. Um, but again, this is a freebie on her website. And also, while I'm talking about Liz Matthews, if you did not already see, she now has a Patreon. So you can go over to, if you're a newsletter subscriber of hers, which I am, and that's how I originally found out, she sent an email about it. She also has on her Instagram, I think she has some information about it too. So you can head over there to um, learn about her Patreon. She has different tiers and it's, um, she describes it as an a la carte Patreon, so you can pick and choose what you want more of and not, and then that's kind of how her pricing goes. So if you love Liz Matthews, head over there, and um, she already has two freebies that will come, or that you will get um, if you join at least the pattern section, so go over and check her out. For my whips for this week, I have, I did stitch some more on my Tiny Town, which is another Sal. 
This is Big Hearted Sal that myself and Holly, who is Mrs. Jones Stitches, are hosting. And a lot of people have finished or are almost finished. And I was able to work on, um, I had the middle and then I went over this way. I did have a little trouble. I felt like I kept having to pull out and restitch. Um, so I did put this aside, but I do want to get it finished. And I am unsure. I think I'm going to finish this one into a drum potentially. And then I'll stitch the other ones on a higher count uh, to go onto Chantel's backing board. But I haven't figured, I have not 100% settled on that. So that's another sow too, like I said. This is the main project I've been working on. And this is why I didn't end up stitching on Carrie, um, her birthday sow, because I just, I don't know. This is not like me and many a few who have been around will know. It's not like me to want to just stitch on one thing, but I've gotten on a roll on this is the day and this is all I want to work on. Um, and I do have a goal to get it finished before the end of February. I did start it a little bit before February 1st, um, but I am loving it and I just want to get it done. So this is this is the day by Plum Street Samplers. It is from Market from last year. I am using all the called for colors on the called for linen, which is 36 count barbs blend. And I love it so much. I was really inspired by Connie Dunn at the All Things Winter Retreat. She was working on it and she was almost done. And I have been wanting to pick this up and start it, restart it, because I had already started it last year. And I just didn't have motivation. And somehow I got motivated and that's all I want to do. So this is, and let me, hold on a second. Let me pin it so it doesn't fall. Because it's kind of big. But this is what I have done. Emily also from Primrose Cottage is stitching on it now. So that kind of got me inspired, but I started with the words and I do have to go and dot all of the eyes. They just, they're single stitches. So I haven't done that yet. I did do this main border and then the flower and I need to finish filling this stuff in and then come this way. Um, also, there is a border on the bottom and on the top and I am considering leaving the borders off for the purpose of finishing it. I did, I don't have it fully framed yet, but I did pin my brick house sampler. And at the bottom of that, there is a line, a straight line of straight stitches for the grass. And it was really hard to get it straight. So I am considering leaving the bottom and top off, but I have not decided yet. Also in regards to my, so um, this is my, what I'm gonna try to work on um, and get some more done on this for next week. Um, and then I might pick up some of the sows. Uh, that's kind of my, my plans. I do have one or two other Valentine's things I might be working on, but I'm kind of getting past the Valentine stitching. Um, I wanna get this done and kind of maybe move into some of the um, bunny things and some more springy types of stitching. So I'm, that's kind of where I'm headed. But um, in regards to my brick house sampler, a lot of people messaged. I did forget to stitch the O, so thank you so much. I really appreciate people telling me that because I would have mounted it and finished it and then realized. So thankfully though, I was only pinning it so I could take it off and stitch it, but that would have been a pain. So thank you guys so much for sh for saying something. Uh, all right, now we have haul and I don't really have a lot. I have been trying to be good and, and not spend a lot of money on haul. Um, plus market's about to come. I am focused on this is the day, so I don't even really wanna stitch anything else. Um, I want to just stitch that. 
So that's kind of been helping to keep me focused. But I did buy, and this uh, Becca from Sambri Stitches does have a sale going on in her Etsy shop. I did pick this up, and I don't know what's going on with my printer, so ignore the weird lines. But this is the pattern that goes with the B scap, or not the B scap. Pete's B scap is who made the spool, but this is the pattern that goes on the spool. So I got this. Becca is, like I said, having a sale in her Etsy shop um, for 15% off. I think it is through the 7th. So go check her shop out. These are my Patreon patterns from Teresa Kogut's Patreon. This was the 2, 3, and 4 tier. These just came out. So pretty. This is three and four. And this is four. And this is the one I think I'm going to start at some point, probably when this is the day is done, I will get this started. And I just bought the DMC to go with that. These are from Stacy Stitches. This is Hands-On Design Mend. And I have wanted to do this for a long time. I've wanted to do the any of our block parties, but this one specifically. And I am considering doing this as a stitch along for my one year floss tube anniversary. So if you are interested in joining, say something in your comment. Um, I'm still debating on starting this for that or not, but I love this so much. And Stacy has these in her shop and you can use my code Sweetwater for 10% off on these. And also this, this is Hannah's, no, Eliza's little sampler from, from the Heart Needle Art. And I actually have the larger piece that this is a part of. I haven't stitched it yet, but it's in my pile of stuff I wanna work on um, soon. So this is a little excerpt from that, but I love these little samplers. They're so cute. This is from 1884 Stitchery, the Rose and the Giant Pear, to go in my Hands Across the Sea bucket of possible patterns to work on. And also in regards to that, the hashtag um, H-A-T-S, First week of the month, Sal is going on right now. Uh, Laura from Brenda and the Serial Starter and some others started that hashtag. Um, I have a Hands Across the Sea pulled out to work on, but again, I've been just wanting to work on This Is The Day, so I haven't started that, and I might pick that up later in the month depending on um, how This Is The Day is going. And then this was a sweet little thank you from Emily Call for, um, she was our first designer on Stitch Your Stash 2023, our Facebook group, myself and Alicia, who's the fanciful flamingo. She sent me a sweet chart. So this chart, I believe just came out or it's about to come out um, spring and it's so cute. And I have some of her other ones um, the St. Patrick's one is stitched. So when I get that stuff out, I'll bring that. And I have the Valentine one in the works. And so I also wanted to show this. This is from Chantel's 141. And these are called, I think they're just called corner gauges. But they are square. I don't remember what they're called. But they're tools where you would line this up on the edge of your, let me see if I can get it open quickly. You line it up on the edge of your finish piece to show, let's see, sorry for the crinkle. Let me get this piece and show you. So if I wanted it, this is not even, and I did this on purpose, but if I wanted to mount this piece onto the red and for it to be even, I would line it up on the corner and then I would stick my stitched piece right up to there and I would know that I had an inch. So it just, as long as everything is even, it will help you to line up your pieces 
I obviously have more and less and I did that on purpose. But if you want or have trying to square something up exactly, this is a great tool and it comes with all three of them with the ring. So you would put them all on your ring like so. And you have a new tool for your finishing for a cross stitch. So, and that was from Chantel's uh, 141, her shop. Okay. And then this is my last piece of haul from this week. And this was a really fun piece. So, I am in the Facebook group called Homespun Needlework Cross Stitch and Samplers. And they have, once every couple months, they have an exclusive from a designer. And this one just came out. So if you love it, you can go join the Facebook group and you can get the link through there to buy the pattern. Uh, or it's a whole kit. So this is what it is. is it's from Stacy Nash Primitives and it's Caroline's Sampler Pouch. And this is the front of it. And this is the back and everything to make it comes with it. So this is the pattern. And then in it, it comes with the wool, it comes with the floss, and it comes with the fabric. And they always have an extra, and the extra for this month is a Bitsy Keep from Ke That's So Kelly, and it's an exclusive. And so it top, the, Pattern is sold through Acorns and Threads and they pick a different shop each time. And so it says Acorns and Threads and then it has all kinds of Stacy Nash things around it, which is so cute. And I love these things. So that was the uh, little extra with the kit, but I really like this and I might get this going um, soon, but we will see. So again, this, I love the blues and the pinks. It's really pretty. So some of you might ask, when are you going to start all of these fun things? Well, uh, in our group, Stitcher Stash SYS 2023, we are hosting once a quarter a hashtag SYS 6 and 6, which Alicia did this um, on Facebook with Chris the Camping Stitcher uh, last in November, I think, and a lot of people participated and it, a lot of people had fun. So we are um, doing it in conjunction with our Facebook group as well. And what it is, is next weekend, which is I think like the 10th, 11th, and 12th, over the weekend, you choose, you spread your six projects out of for six hours. So you choose six projects, whether they be whips or new starts or whatever you want them to be. And you work on one for each hour and it's only over six hours um, and it's spread amongst the whole weekend. So you might do six on Friday or six on Saturday or six on Sunday or three and three or two, two and two, whatever you want it to be. Um, but if you want to participate, you were using that as the hashtag, hashtag SYS six in six, and we're asking you to be posting within the Facebook group. You can also post on Instagram, but we'll be doing some different stuff within our Facebook group. So if you are interested in, if you are not in our Facebook group already, go and join. And then if you are, then pay attention in the Facebook group and we'll have more information about it. And again, it's n not this coming weekend, but the next weekend. Um, it's very informal, uh, but it'll be a lot of fun. So I am still trying to decide what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about doing three whips and then three new starts, but I haven't um, exactly decided yet. So stay tuned. I'll let you all know. And then you guys can also be gathering what you want to work on. Okay, before I get to the giveaways, I just want to make sure that's everything. I think that's all for today. Um, let me just, 
I also, for my brick house sampler, I have a frame on order. So hopefully that comes soon and I can show you my finished piece. Um, but besides that, that is all I have. Oh, I also saw some people were ordering these and are loving them as well. I, if I don't have this to fold my fabric onto my hoop, I am like, I feel like I have too much fabric. So I'm really loving, um, these floss thread holders to hold the fabric onto my hoop. Okay. So for the giveaways from last week, again, remember if I am filming, a, if you have entered a giveaway, I will only be announcing it on my video. I will not comment on your comments. I will not ask you to contact me in any other way than announce it on the video. Um, if I do announce your name today for one of these, you need to send me an email with your name, address, and what you won, and I'll get that out in the mail. Two of the people from last week have contacted me, and I put those in the mail today. Um, sorry it took so long, but uh, those are in the mail in transit to you, and then um, I, will, I try to get them sent out earlier in the week, but it's just been a lot of stuff going on around here, so um, stay tuned. All right, so number one was Lovable Petites, and this is actually going to come from Stacy at Stacy Stitches uh, Creative Studio, and the winner is Connie Erickson. Connie Erickson, congratulations. Number two was February Trucking Along, and the winner is Owl and Gator Stitcher. Owl and Gator Stitcher. And then the last one is Quilty Barn Mix and Match. And the winner of this is Connie Fondesi. Connie Fondesi, you are the winner of this. So like I said, send me an email with your um, name and address and I'll get that in the mail to you. So for this week's giveaway, let's see what's in my box of giveaways <laughs> okay so for the first of all to enter the giveaway let me give you the i'll give you the rundown um to enter the giveaway you need to be over 18 you need to uh, like the video subscribe to my channel uh, live in the U.S., have a U.S. resident, or have a U.S. address. So if you don't, if you have someone in the U.S. I can ship it to, that's fine. Um, and then comment using the numbers that I'm going to give for what you're interested in, and then answer the question that I'm going to ask. And for this week, I want to know, what do you like to do while you're stitching? So, some might say, I don't do anything. I just sit and stitch. Some people like to listen to books. Some people like to watch shows, floss tube. Um, so let me know what you like to do while you're stitching. And then if you listen to books, what are some of your favorite books you've read so lately? And then if you watch video, like watch TV shows or Netflix or whatever, comment a couple shows that you've been watching because I'm always looking for new shows and I've recently been listening to, um, I watch Floss Tube, I watch shows, I listen to books, but I'm just finishing up the Un Honeymooners and it's really good. Um, but I, I want to listen to some more books. So if you have book recommendations or show recommendations, um, put those in addition. So that's the question for this week. All right, number one is, this is from Rosewood Manor, and this is called, I don't know, Spring is Coming, something like that. This I think I got from the um, the Annabella's Retreat, but this is what it looks like. So this is number one. Number two is Harvest House by Little Stitch Girl. This is number two. And number three is Farm Life by It's So Emma. This is number three. So again, if you are interested, 
comment by answering the question and then also the number that you are interested in, one, two, three, um, or if you're interested in all of them, don't write the word all, just write what the actual numbers are. So besides that, that's all I have for today. Again, thank you so much for coming by to visit. I hope you will check out um, our SYS Facebook group. Also, um, I have a Facebook group, Sweetwater Stitcher. Um, my blog is sweetwaterstitcher.com. I haven't had blog posts lately, but I am going to um, hopefully get some up soon. Um, and my Instagram, Sweetwater Stitcher, and then obviously you're on uh, YouTube. So thank you again. I will see you guys next Thursday for another episode of Floss Tube. And until then, happy stitching, and I will see you later. Bye.